Hey guys, it's Tim back with another video. Um, today I'm going to be doing a rehouse. Uh, these are going to be the two enclosures that I'll be putting my OBT and my C Darling key into. And the reason for this rehouse will be because um, last feeding video, um, it wasn't recorded, but I mean, I talked about it how my C Darling had escaped because I mean, he's kind of. A little bit over an inch and this enclosure is not that big and he's just climbs right up the side and stuff so um i want to go ahead and put him in this bigger enclosure it's a lot deeper so he can't just climb up and get out real easily and my obt this was a, it wasn't in the video either i had paused it but um as i was trying to get the roach to move for him uh i lifted up the top and he got real close to the top so i just slowly put the cap back on and I thought his uh, his legs were clear of the top for me to like completely seal it off. And what I didn't notice was that one of his legs was still stuck there. And as I pushed down, his leg did come off. Um, I don't know if you guys can see, but he right now he only has seven. Um, I believe it was the one on the right side. I don't know if you can tell, but it's yes, yeah, the one on the right side where he's missing. But I mean. He did eat his meal later on. I pre-killed it after uh, he got. I got him back in his closure safely. I pre-killed it and uh, he ate. And he's been webbing up a lot more. I don't know if you guys can tell. Hold on, give me a second. I can try to flashlight this. Show you guys the webs. But he's connected them to the top of the enclosure. As you can see right there, the webs here in the back and everything is all connected to the top. And so what I want to do is I want to move them into these deeper enclosures so they won't be so close to the top and I can avoid problems like uh, accidentally catching their legs and stuff like that because I do feel really bad about it I, I felt so sad for him after not the whole night but you can see he's been webbing up all the well he she have been webbing this all up right here so I'm going to do a rehouse today and uh give him more space to web without me to string the web because if I pull out this lid right now, all of this right here, what he's been working on the last, he, she has been working on the last couple of days, just is going to go away. So, um, we're going to move him to these enclosures right here. And what I did was it was just a simple leaf, made a little pre entry burrow for him. So I can go in there, web all this up and everything. And, um, this one's about the same. Just a little. Uh, cocoa fiber pre entry and everything like that, and I'll go ahead and start getting ready with the video. Be right back. So, what my plan is going to be to try to get them in this small little vial uh, right here first, and then transfer them into the big one because you see it'll be a little difficult trying to get them from here straight into there. So, I'm going to go ahead and start out. I'm going to do the OBT first, and then second will be my C Darlingi. Let's go ahead and get started, you guys. Hope you guys can see. I'm going to be a little more focused on the tarantulas than talking. So if I go quiet for a second, don't worry about it. I'm just focused. Okay, so as you can see, like I was saying, all the webbing that uh, little one had <laughs> attached to the roof, the ceiling of the enclosure is all right there. And that's what I'm saying. I don't want him to, me to keep destroying it every time I open it up to feed them or try to change anything. So I'm going to just transform them out. Okay, let's see.
Yeah, right? That was fairly easy. See what it did. I'm going to put them in a new enclosure. There's some bad. Okay, make sure it's in sight. So he's already pretty much in an enclosure. He's just still in a little fire there. Like I do it now, let's just coax him out. Hopefully, it will be a lot easier. Let's see, he's going in there. Okay, so this might be a little bit more difficult than I thought. Come on, there you go. I don't know how good that view was of him coming out and everything. I, like I said, I was focused on the tarantula. And as you can see, he's trying to come out now. Let's get this little vial out. Oh, he doesn't feel bad though, you see. He, he can't really climb right now because huh? of the one leg missing. So, for the next couple of days, um, I might turn up the temperature a little bit in my room. I'm trying to feed him again because uh, I read online that with the temperatures higher than mid 80s and stuff like that, and good feeding, they're uh, molt a lot faster. And hopefully, when he does molt, that his legs will his leg will come back. So that's what I'm hoping for, and I'm gonna try to go ahead and give him a little bit more food probably tomorrow or the day after that. First, let him get us adjusted to this new environment. Yeah, there he is, you guys. And here's the enclosure. I'm gonna get this little vial out, and then I'm gonna start with my sea darlingy. Okay, you guys. Um, about to go ahead and start with my sea darlingy, which this one will probably be a lot more chaotic because, um, surprisingly, this sea darlingy is a lot more um, crazier than my OBT. Cause um, when I was doing all my research before about the spiders, how they act and everything. I was expecting the OBT to be the craziest one, but nope. It's actually the CR Lingy, so this one should be interesting. Hopefully, since he's in his little burrow, um, hopefully I position this to where he goes right in. Go ahead and get the cap on, and then um, move him over into the bigger enclosure and do the same thing with the OBT, like I did with the OBT, just set it in there and then coax him out, and hopefully he will not run around the enclosure, which he did before. And while he was in this one, like I said, he escaped the last feeding video, so hopefully it goes better than last time. We're going to get started. With this one, I don't have to worry about really him running out when I open the enclosure because, like I said, he's underground under this little leaf right here. Uh, and that's where he usually stays at. He'll come out every once in a while and go around the top um, and stuff. This is pretty cool, you guys. I don't know if, but that right there is his last meal, and it's not focusing. But that thing is sucked dry. That was a Turkestan roach. I mean, it literally just dry. And okay, there it goes. That's a good picture of it. But um, yes, it's just dry. Okay, let's go ahead and get, continue with the rehousing. There we go. Position the camera right. Sorry about this, you guys. I am in the process of ordering a, a tripod stand for my phone, so I won't have to use this, what's called a bottle, anymore. 
to help um, position my phone. Straight in. There we go. It's a lot easier with the help of this little vial. And there he is. That it right there is my C Darlingi. I'm really excited for this one. I can't wait to see how he turns out and gets his well he or she gets his horn and everything. I'm really excited about this one. that but um like I was saying this was where this is the leaf and as you can see when I pick it up all this comes with it because he had all of it webbed up as his little burrows he had like four different burrow three entrances and that's why this this is gonna be suitable for him for him to go ahead and just start digging around in there webbing it all up It'll be really interesting to see what he does with that. But yeah, that's his old enclosure. Gonna move that out of the way and go ahead and get this part, the last part done, transform into the final enclosure. Like my, there it is. This is gonna be a little bit more challenging because unlike the OBT, the OBT was down here, but he's at the top, so opening this enclosure will be I mean opening this little vial will be a little bit more challenging. Hopefully, I can figure something out. Here and there. Let's see. I'm gonna just place it in there. On this side or something. Uh, I don't know. Let me see if I can close. There's a little hole at the top. Let me see if I can just close him down to the bottom. There he is. That's good. That's what I need right there. Hopefully when I open this, he will not go for a little jog. It could be good. One more step and then you'll be home free, little guy. There it is. Now just to get him out. This should be the easy part, hopefully. Since everything went to plan. And there he is, just inside the little enclosure. There he goes. And the good thing about these enclosures is they bend at the top right here. So, I mean, it's like a rectangular cube. And so, as he was trying to go right there, he just saw him fall down. And I just missed it the, the enclosure a couple, like before I put him in there to make sure that the um, substrate was. Good for them. Let me just pull this out. There he is, you guys. I mean, no closure. See, it, it suits him pretty well. Enough space for him on top. And then for him, if he wants to go into the little pre dick and cave, there he is. I say he's probably close to an inch. Give me one second, I go get my tape measure to see. As you guys can see, there he is next to a tape measure. And I mean, he's pretty close to inch. Um, once I get his first moat, I'll be able to really show you how long you guys, how long it is. But that's just right next to the tape measure. It's about an inch long. And when I get the first moat, I'll be able to show you guys what it looks like. He's probably a little bit over inch because I know that's, that's not the right way to measure him. So I mean, but that's, that's pretty it's a good guess for right now. You can see he's just venturing around his little enclosure now. And that's it for today, guys. Um, leave a like if you like the video and subscribe if you want to. I'll be doing more videos in the future, hopefully getting more tarantulas. And I'm also looking into getting a centipede, maybe. Maybe. Sorry about that. But I still, not, I still don't know which one I'm going to get right now. And then maybe even some bearded dragons because uh like i stated in the previous video that i am going to college 
and I'll be moving in July 3rd, moving in early because I'm, I'm a football player. So um, hopefully, since my dorm does allow animals and my roommate, he's also um, cool with animals and reptiles. We're planning on getting some uh, cool stuff when we get move in. So hopefully I have some good videos for you in the future. You guys have a great day. Bye.